Welcome to What's in the Box. Today, we have another Gundam figure. This is Gundam Universe MSN 04 Sazabi GU 18 Align. And this box is big for these Gundam Universe figures. Very big. I mean, I have, uh, do I have one available here? I still have the Shenlong available. It is at least twice the size of the Shenlong. So this guy, I'm assuming, is going to be chonky. So let's have a look at the box before we crack it open and see what's actually in there. Especially since we have a mystery section here, so this will be interesting. On the front, we have illustration of the Sazabi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. Side, Sazabi, back, images, product shots, fight, cross sale. Hey, it's Shenlong. Upside down art, product shot, clean product shot, window from the top, Gundam Universe logo. All right, so comments on this. I don't know anything about this Gundam at all. Um, it just looks really cool and uh, looks very chonky, so I, I had to pick it up. Uh, I love that it's like a a goof. What do you call them? Uh, it escapes me. The ones with one eye. It, it looks like it's it's like a Gundam on steroids. This thing looks amazing. So let's crack it open and have a look at what's going on inside. Uh, the box is empty. It has a yellow background. Most of them come with red backgrounds, but since this figure itself is red. Uh, what else we got here? We have some cross sale. Six inch Gundam action figures. These are action figures. These are not model kits. We have some uh, cross sale for the Gundam Bandai store. We have some instructions here, and warning in uh, Japanese and English. All right, so the box is empty. We'll set that off to the side here. Let's just seal it up real quick. A Zaku, that's what I'm looking at. It looks like a Zaku on steroids. Uh, all right. Remove the top, and we're just going to pull random things out. This, I have no idea what this is. We'll sit that there. What else we got here? That's another one of those. No idea what that is. We'll set that there. We have a blaster. One blaster. We'll set that there. Next up. Looks like we got... Uh, that's easier to get to. We have what I'm assuming is going to be the backpack. Or shield. I'm not sure which. Because it has a lot of detail for something you're not going to see. But it is Bandai, so... They do that. Next up, ooh, that is a nice shiny gold. That is a sword. <laughs> we'll set that over here with the weapons. Next up, we have uh, looks like hands. So we have a gun trigger hand, and then we have a holding hand, holding hand, grasping hand. Next up, these look like uh, shoulder blasters from the image. Those open? They look like they open, but they don't. Okay. 
We'll set that aside. Then these here, we got six of them. There we go. I knew that was going to happen. We got six of these. So it looks like these go in here. Said there's paneling on the side here. There's a little uh, line detail. And it's always interesting that Bandai puts a lot of uh, work into sculpts that you're not going to see. And there we go. So we have one shoulder can loaded. And on to the next one. Those are tight to get in there. I wonder if I'm, hopefully I'm not chewing them up too much. Does that split open any other way? No. Nope. I could always get the instructions, but I am stubborn. Alright, so both are loaded now. Alright, onward to the Suzabi itself. Now that packaging is empty. Discard that for now so we won't have any creaky plastic. Alright, already has the backpack loaded. Let's flip around to the back for some product shots. So the backpack's already on, so this is not a backpack. That must be a shield. And these guys go in here. Oh, look at those chunky. Chunky, chunky blaster feet. Look at that detail. That hollowness there is the first time I've been a little upset of a hollowness on one of these figures. But it's kind of forgivable, seeing as how you're really not going to see it. Does that move? Oh, that does move. Okay, so we can put these up here. And I really don't know what that is. That, that uh, that's gonna have to come out. And what these are as well. I don't know what those are. There's a good side shot. Have a look at the back. Oh, you know what? No way. It's a butt piece, not a back piece. Wow, that makes me look even chonkier. Okay. So where do these go? The instructions are coming out. Oh, okay. This guy has a hell of a backpack. There we go. Wow, okay. can swap out the uh, hands I 
and arm him to the teeth. Okay, that was scary. It looked like it was gonna break, but it's not. It's actually the sculpting. I hope that's the sculpting anyway. This guy retails for about 40 bucks. It'd be a shame. Oh no. That is very delicate. For a forty dollar figure, I would hope that uh that wouldn't be as delicate. setting I don't want to mess with them anymore but uh so is this figure worth 40 bucks crazy chonky but super delicate as we can see I have concerns about this finger here breaking let me pull that closer here maybe we can see that because of how the sculpt is right there. Come on, focus. There we go. The sculpt there, that crease. It looks like it's it's wants to break. So that, that 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 worries me. The antenna on the crest here. Oh, that makes him look imposing. Let me just marvel at that shot for a second. Yeah, that is a good uh, epic shot. But the uh, the crest. You can see there's already a stress mark on it. already a stress mark here where it's bending it's very troublesome uh, I'd say I'd be much more happy if it only cost 30 bucks I don't know why $10 difference would make a whole whole lot he is chunky I mean he's got a whole lot a whole lot to him look at that, that profile but that crest, oh. But I mean, that's that's a Gundam thing, too. They are, uh... Always have those delicate pieces. Those... And I'm not sure at what point where I grabbed him. Where those would have been, uh... Touched. But there is the Sazabi. And that's what's in today's box. And at this point, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you are still watching, uh, please make sure you uh, hit that like button and uh, subscribe so you miss out on any future unboxing videos. Uh, hopefully, to have, I hope to have some more Gundams coming through soon. Uh, like I said uh, on previous videos, I am very, 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 very hoping for looking forward to and hoping for a Epion. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.